With as convoluted as California gun laws are, and with how the DOJ is poorly handling all of the background checks, causing many delays, as well as some sheriffs shutting down gun sales in their counties, it almost appears as if the state is trying to make us break the law. Let's talk about that today. Today's wacky mic holder is Hoppies number nine. Some people say hops, some people say hoppies. I honestly don't know which one is right, but this is the only solvent approved for use in the apocalypse as according to Prepper Dave from Welcome to the Apocalypse. If you have not seen his videos, check them out. They're hilarious, some good lighthearted fun. Well, so here's the thing. With California, the background check system is just so overloaded right now that many people are finding themselves in a situation. They're finding themselves unable to actually pick up their guns. Many people's background checks are taking longer than the 30-day limit, causing them to have to run them again. Some people are being delayed or denied indefinitely because the DOJ is not able to handle the load that is the amount of new buyers purchasing firearms. Now, in many other states, it's normally a 15 minute, you fill out the paperwork, they type on the NICS system, the National Instant Check System, they check you out, put in your information, and you're good to go. In some places, it probably would take you longer to get a cup of coffee than it would for the NICS system to actually run your background check. But in California, we have a 10 day cool down period. This is not the time that the background check is normally run. It should be instant, it should be done. By the time that 10 days is up, it should be easy for you to just walk right in at the exact 240 hour mark, grab your gun, sign and thumbprint, walk out the door, it's yours. Unfortunately, it seems like that's not the case. Now, because of the state's ineptitude, many people are going out and uh, going through alternative methods in order to acquire firearms. Now, the thing about this is it's definitely not legal what these people are doing, but personally, I don't care. I don't care what you do. I'm gonna to explain to you what these people are doing, and then I'm going to make very clear to you that it's not legal, but I am going to tell you what they are doing that's allowing them to physically maintain possession of a firearm. Now, I need to remind you, this is not legal advice. I'm actually recommending that you don't do this. I'm just telling you what people are doing. You can go online right now to Brownells or any major retailer that sells firearms parts. You could then buy what's called a Polymer 80. Polymer 80 handgun frames are technically not a firearm. They are unfinished enough to where the state and the feds say, hey, that's not a gun. That is just a piece of material. It's an unregulated part. You can buy that. You can buy all the other parts for a handgun ship it to your door without any background check. At that point, people are, without going through the proper process of self-registering a pre-home, a home-built firearm in the state of California through the CFAR system, which I have a video on down below, people are then just milling it out, completing that thing, making it a legal, or making that legally a firearm through illegal methods, I guess, and then they are having possession of something that could defend themselves with. The other method that I've heard people doing, which I definitely think would be an inferior option, and again, I need to reiterate, reiterate, I am not recommending you do this. People are buying black powder revolvers. A black powder firearm, federally and in the state of California, is not a gun. It's not registered as a firearm. It is just an inanimate object that is not regulated like a gun. This is something that you can have shipped to your door. I can go on right now, go on brownells.com or sportsmanswarehouse.com and order up a black powder revolver in 45 or 44 or whatever caliber it is, have that shipped to my door, and then go online and buy a conversion cylinder. The conversion cylinder by itself and the revolver by itself are not firearms. However, it's my understanding, and again, I need to reiterate that I'm not a lawyer, it's my understanding that when they're separate, they're not a gun. But if you put that conversion cylinder that allows you to fire things like 45 long colt or 44 magnum at low, low velocity, low power loads, you would then be able to put that in the gun. At that point, it's legally a firearm and you would have to have acquired a serial number in the same way that you would have done for an 80% receiver. The issue with this is two things. One, everything that I've described to you that people are doing is illegal. I don't care what you do with your life. I don't care how you live your life. And I am actively saying, this is not something I would recommend doing. But people can make their own choices in life. And if you feel that that's the right thing to do, I don't care. Do whatever you want, but be safe about it. Be smart about it, is all I can really say about that. And at this point, you're probably asking yourself, is this legal advice? And if you're asking yourself that, I don't know how much more clear I gotta be, but I'll let my uh, little green screen friend take it away. Now, you might be asking yourself, is this legal advice? Well, 
Let's answer that question. Upon further review, I can say that this is not legal advice. So hopefully that clarifies that this is not legal advice. If you have any questions, I might be able to answer them. Normally I would be happy to answer your questions, but on this topic, I am not recommending that you do the things that I've described that people are doing. So I am not going to recommend that. However, you can ask and maybe other people can uh, help you out a little bit. I'm gonna do a detailed description, I think about black powder and the conversion and that whole thing at a later date. But for now, we're just gonna leave it at that. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask below. I'll see what I can do, but I cannot recommend that you break the law. As always, have fun, be safe, stay dangerous. Peace.